if you've rendered something out of Maya and what you were used to seeing in the render view isn't matching in After Effects then this tutorial is going to talk you through how to do that using the new ACES CG workflow. The first thing that we want to do while we're still inside Maya is go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Preferences and then find Colour Management. Here Maya's going to tell you which settings it's used for the rendering display and view space and so we're going to use these to help set the settings that we need in After Effects so if yours is slightly different to mine don't worry I will tell you which one we need when and you can go and look inside your Maya and see which one you have to make sure that it works for you so we'll go into After Effects now and I'm going to import the EXR that I rendered. It's just an, a still image, but if you have a sequence, it's going to work exactly the same. And then I'm going to drag that onto the composition button to create a new composition. The first step is going to be setting the color for the project, so the overall project. So to do that, you go to File, Project Settings, and then Locate the Color tab. And for the colour engine, you are going to choose OCIO Colour Managed and hit OK. And then for the OCIO configuration, if you have it, you're going to choose ACES 1.3 CG. You can still get results with ACES 1.2, but this is the newest version, which I like to use, and it's specifically for CG. Bit depth, you are going to know that based on what you have rendered out of Maya. So I've rendered a 16 bit EXR, so I would change that to 16 bits. And then the working color space matches the rendering space in your Maya preferences. So my rendering space is ACES CG. So in After Effects, I am going to drop that down and I'm going to choose ACES, ACES CG. And then the next thing is the display color space. That matches inside Maya your view settings. So ACES 1.0 SDR video. And also the display is sRGB. So if you look up here, it says sRGB in brackets. So a kind of a combination of the two, this one. So I've got sRGB display forward slash ACES 1.0 SDR video so that is what I would choose there and hit OK so you can see that my image colour has changed now and actually it is pretty much matching what I can see in Maya in fact it is matching um, but if yours isn't don't worry I'm going to go through the next step because there is a colour setting per file that you import so the project settings, you would set that once, and then when you open up your project, that's still going to be set correctly. You just need to remember to do it at the start of every project that you begin. On the EXR, if you right click and choose interpret footage and main, you've probably used this before to set the um, frame rate of a image sequence. But what we want for this is the color tab and then you've got the override media color space so this is going to again match the rendering space in Maya so we want to choose ACES ACES CG and if you can't see that then you can click the show all button but I'm pretty sure you can get to it without doing that and so hopefully now you've taken the settings from Maya and you've plugged them into the correct places in After Effects and your image now matches um, between After Effects and Maya but there's one more thing that I need to teach you which is how to render out correctly because you need to make sure that when you render your telling after effects the color space that you want it to render into and um, because by default you'll probably find that when you render it doesn't match Maya and after effects so 
to do that we're going to select the composition and go to composition add to render queue and in the output module you would choose your format i'm going to use a h264 but the color tab is the important one that we want and what we need to do is tell after effects what color space to render this out as one that you want for this is the same as what we've been viewing it in the render view so i can't actually by default see the one that i want and so i'm assuming you won't either but you want to click show all in that case and then if you come down you'll see that we have the srgb display aces 1.0 sdr video again and um, we would click that and that's just saying this is the output and it's going to save that into the file so we hit ok and um, i will leave the name like that um, and then i'll just hit render quickly okay that's now rendered and i will go and find my video you will see that the color matches between my my render my after effects view and what is then rendered out of after effects it is a little bit convoluted when you first start to do it but i think it will become second nature if you do have to do it multiple times and this video will always be here for you to come back to so yeah i hope that was helpful